Hey everybody, JP Hunt with Inksoft here. And in this video, I wanted to showcase two powerful and really simple ways that you can empower your customers to place orders from your Inksoft online store. Now these are two use cases that are a bit subtle, and so I wanted to bring and really illuminate how you could take full advantage of these. And really the real sort of reason that I'm producing this video is we're, we're hearing from our customers that they're busy, uh, which is sort of the inverse of what we experienced on the sort of the onset of COVID, right? Um, so, you know, business is picking up as the economy seeks to recover. Uh, but the, the real challenge that a lot of print shops are dealing with is labor shortages, right? So with that said, a positive, busy again, uh, but dealing with a new challenge, which is labor shortage. So we're going to be producing a series of videos and training materials and blog postings on how to use Inksoft to save time, you know, be more efficient and be more productive. So really, this video is all about two ways that you can use Inksoft to let your customers place orders that really relates to saving time and boosting productivity. So here, let's get started with the very first use case, which is using the Upload Now workflow. This is a feature that will allow your clients to go to your Inksoft powered online stores, browse Blink products that you're offering, and simply and directly upload their logo, their corporate identity to that product and place an order. So it's a very quick way to, to place an order for say logo wear when the customer already has their identity. So we kind of take you through that workflow now. So here we are at the Inksoft demo store. Of course, as a consumer, let's say I browse uh, the, the Blink product catalog and I chose this, this uh, Raglan baseball jersey as the garment that will is aligned to my needs. So you'll notice that there's two options here for this particular product. And there's actually three ways to let a consumer transact with a blank product. You'll see the very first option, which is design online. So you can make each product in your Inksoft catalog. You can choose whether it should be eligible to, to be designed online using Inksoft's online designer. The second option is upload your design, and that's the workflow we're gonna talk about. The third and final way to let your clients transact with a blank product is it's possible to allow certain products to be sold as blank. So let's say you had um, face masks in, as an example, and some, a consumer just wants to buy non-branded face masks. Well, you can sell non-branded, non-printed uh, products using Inksoft. Okay, so let's go through the workflow now of upload your design. Again, the use case here is, let's assume that your customer already has their corporate identity. They want logo wear or branded merchandise with their corporate identity on it. So there is no creativity. Uh, there is no uh, customization of art content or personalization. It's simply letting customers upload their art and place an order and be done with it. So frictionless, fast, and easy. And again, this is time savings for your customer because it's so easy to place an order online, but it's also time savings for you because you don't have to go and build an invoice, send an invoice, and go through all the steps of getting paid in, in a sort of an analog way. Okay, so let's go ahead and click the upload your design option. And again, this can be enabled per product. Once it's enabled and once the client clicks that option, they can uh, sort of indicate what it is they want by naming their design. So in this case, I'm gonna input Brave Team T-shirts. And what I'm gonna do is, the next step is select a print location. So I'm gonna say, we want our corporate logo imprinted on the front of the garment. Now that's gonna unlock two ways for me to proceed. I can either click to upload my artwork, or I could simply enter in the color count. So if I don't have my artwork, this isn't a dead end, I could indicate that this is a three color imprint and I could proceed in the checkout process and Inksoft can calculate the appropriate pricing. And so you can trap an order and then you know, respond to the client later to get their art content. So let's go through the upload artwork, which is the default very first state. Here I can confirm the print location, which is the front. As a consumer, I can drag and drop my artwork right onto this space here, or I can select my file from my computer. So in this case, I'll just select a vector file and here is now that file. Now, the next series of decisions is, hey, do you wanna remove any of the white? You know, do you wanna keep your file as original? Do you wanna remove the white background? Uh, of course, in the event I uploaded a JPEG, that would be very useful. Do you wanna remove all of the white from your imprint, which is another handy feature, especially when dealing with raster uploads. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click continue, and now I choose a color profile. So in this case, I can say, hey, I wanna proceed as full color. I want my imprint to be black and white, or I want my imprint to be three colors. And here I can even change or map in different colors. So instead of that hue of red, maybe we want that to be sort of an orange. So I can update that. Uh, maybe instead of dark gray, I want that to be black. And lastly, um, I wanna map white to white. So in this case, now I've just made decisions about color count and the colors of the imprint. 
Now I can click finish. And this is where clients can put in special instructions, they can enter in quantities, they can add to cart, check out, and go. So again, you know why this works, this is a simple and straightforward way to let your customers, when they already have their corporate identity or brand assets, this is the fastest possible way to place an order for branded merchandise. And they can self-service and place these orders directly from your web presence when it's convenient to them. So this is sort of a, an alternative to having to produce an invoice and send the invoice and collect payment. That's just as multi-step, it takes time, it's, you know, has more friction than just letting the end customer self-service. So in terms of tips, you know, this is important to train your customers on this availability, so actively market it, educate customers about this, um, integrate into all your marketing efforts to create awareness of this availability, uh, and, and just educate folks that they can place an order right from your website. Okay, so let's move on to the next tip that I have for you, which again is using an Inksoft online store to simplify the process of letting customers place orders. Now, this example is what I call the online inventory and print on demand store use case. So think about those relationships you have with clients where you're constantly doing replenishment and sort of reruns and reprints for that same customer, right? As their inventory diminishes and they need to re-up and, and you know, uh, stock, you know, maybe their, their beer, uh, craft beer uh, brewery, you know, they're constantly placing orders well, think about building an online store for them using Ingsoft, making it password protected so only folks that have you know, authentication could enter it, and using that as a way to maintain inventoried items that they can you know, release or letting them place orders that might be print on demand. So Ingsoft online stores have, of course, a whole series of features that will support this particular use case. Let me give you two examples of that. So in this case, we have a myriad of maybe approved you know, merchandise that this you know, corporate client we've agreed to that we're gonna supply. These are gonna be the evergreen products that you know, are gonna be set forth and be used throughout the balance of the year. We can always introduce new ones, right, for any special occasions. But I'm gonna go ahead and click on a product. And notice when I click on that product, it displays order minimums, so in this case, 42. So you can enforce your business policies hey, we're happy to do replenishment orders, but our minimum to replenish is 42 items. So you can make that clear. You can reinforce those policies. Of course, that's an option. You might have print-on-demand capabilities. You might have inventory on hand that you're gonna you know, sort of print and release on demand as customers need it. So in this case, notice when I click on the size dropdown, you can see live inventory displaying. So in the event your relationship with your client is they place a PO with you, you print everything in advance, and you are offering inventory, this is a simple way to let customers you know, uh, sort of replenish inventory by going to their dedicated online store, placing an order, and I wanna point out some of the tips here to kind of balance this off. You can disable the shopping cart, so you can collect a purchase order, um, so the customer can check out and just enter in a PO number. You can make that optional altogether. So in terms of single invoice programs where customers will you know, place orders throughout the month, you'll reconcile that and invoice them at the first of the next month uh, to get you know, compensated on all the orders uh, in the previous period. Inksoft online stores will support all of these use cases. So in a quick summary here, there are two very important and special ways to use Inksoft online stores. The Upload Now workflow is the simplest way to let a customer who already has their identity place orders for branded merchandise automatically when it's convenient to them right from your website. That spares you time. You don't have to create an invoice, send an invoice, get paid, and go through all the logistics of generating an invoice, you know, contemplating pricing and all of those moving parts. Next, we have this online inventory and print-on-demand store, which is a great way to create a very tight relationship with a customer, give them a dedicated store that empowers them to, to place orders and replenish their inventory on demand when it's convenient to you and them. And they also, of course, you know, using some of these settings in Inksoft, you can enforce all of your business practices and make sure that as you receive these replenishment orders, they're aligned with your needs and your expectations. Now, if you have any questions on anything you've seen today and you want help, of course, the Inksoft Success Squad is always here to assist you in terms of taking full advantage of all the features that Inksoft has to offer. Now again, stay tuned for more forthcoming videos where we're gonna focus on how to use Inksoft and leverage this technology to save time and be more productive and contend with some of the labor shortages 
and of course the uptick in business that many you know decorators and you know print shops are now experiencing as the economy seeks to recover.